Okay. I'd like to call the hearing for um, 4633 Sulphur Springs Road and to order to, at three o'clock in the afternoon. Um, bear with me, I'm new at this. Do, is, do either one of you want to um, say anything or testify or have questions or anything? I don't have all the above. Okay. <laughs> and I, let me go ahead and swear you in. Um, it's, a, and just say your name. I, I, Carolyn Hoff. Do solemnly swear to affirm that I will support the Constitution of the United States of America, the Constitution and laws of the state of Ohio and the law and resolutions of the Perry or the township of Perry. And I will discharge the duty of the trustee um, nuisance abatement hearing to which uh, or testify to the best of my ability. Okay. All right. The reason we're having this uh, nuisance abatement today is we have the property out at 4633 uh, Sulphur Springs Road um, that has um, basically is abandoned now. Um, the property owner is David Riley. Um, he is not a resident of Ohio. He lives in Illinois. And um, there has been two uh, violations that I have issued for the property. And there was also one on March 19th of 2021 that was done by Montgomery County. Um, the, there's been numerous attempts to contact him um, by phone, letters. If I send out a certified letter, it comes back. Um, whether he's getting the letters or not, I, I don't know. But um, there's been, at one time, there was a, a, a squatter so living in the place, totally, you know, taking it apart. And if you've been by there, now the whole front of the building is open and, the, and it's not secure. There's just a blue tarp hanging in front. Um, and there are... I don't even know how many tires stacked up across the front of the property. At one time, there was a porta pot there we, that was finally taken out. But now the um, there's vegetation, there's trash, there's um, I mean the property is just a mess inside and out. So basically, we need to find out if this is truly a nuisance property and then you know we'll be able to go from here i don't know what all you guys pretty well have the history on it is there anything that i can answer for you or and to the best of my knowledge that building has been vacant and been an eyesore for years um i tried doing some research into it investigating when i first came into office and I know that the previous zoning officer had a file on it, had some information. Mm -hmm. So this is not a new right. issue. This is something that goes a long way back. Um, uh, Boyd Warner just uh, sent a message saying that uh, Zach Music had offered to pick up the tires a while back and not sure if anyone got back with him on whether that was authorized or not. Yeah. Um, we, we can't, can't we can't. I, mean, I know we can't do that, but I yeah. wanted to okay. the job. Yeah, we can't touch it. Yeah, we, we've not been permitted to remove anything from the property, to enter the property. We could not do anything legally on the it. property. Um, we couldn't set foot on the property until this hearing now and we move forward for mm -hmm. it. So that's why we are at the point where we are mm -hmm. finally um, to try to make something happen because this is this has been a long and an arduous process. Um, I would like to hear what Ms. Huff has. Is it Ms. Huff? 
Yeah. Okay. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Um, well, my property actually is behind that. Okay. My, my property connects with the easement. And the can you come up to the podium so we can make sure that everybody can hear you? Sure. Thank you. Um, my property butts up to the back or his back or properties connect. Um, I just want to see it cleaned up and more than anything, it needs secured because there are a lot of children in the area now, especially across the road. That and the other house that you're talking about in the corner is unsecured too because the squad <coughs> broke the doors in on that one. So, um, and so it needs cleaned up. It's a hazard and the cats from next door are in it. So that doesn't help anything. Um, so we just it's secured and cleaned up and you know, it's been empty since I've been there. Well, I've been out there like five years. So yeah, okay. it's been a mess since then. Yeah. I uh, just mainly just listening to see what can be done and what the process is because, you know, it needs done. done. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Trust me. It, 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 all it doesn't care. So, um, it, it is unfortunate that when Karen came in um, and we were able to get the ball rolling, everything was shut down from COVID. So it took us yeah. a long time to actually move forward on getting everything in line and all the ducks had to be in a row in order to you got to finish step one before you can go to step two there's so many steps but I, I commend Karen she's been on this and several other properties that we're finally getting around to doing something about it's a challenge <laughs> you must well I think in the past my recommendation would be, you know, right now, with everything that I've seen, we send Mr. Uh, Riley a, a letter saying that he is in violation and give him so many days, and then we as a township will have to do something. How well, how many letters? If, if, we, if we go ahead, I mean, because like I said, I've sent these and got That's what I mean. Thing, and they're dated and everything. Um is this something that if we have to, if we move forward on and we're getting nothing from him, no response, according to the zoning, again, we've had another issue simil similar to this. Um, it says, please be advised that under 51999 of the Ohio Re uh, Revised Code that you may be fined by the court $500 per day for every day that this violation exists after the date that I have on there. And again, we've had nothing. So that's telling me that there's a possibility that we may have to move forward and take him to court. Yes. Yep. <clears throat> I know that's what we did on another property. And again, that's when and that one's coming up again. Yes. Is that, that is that where we would who would represent us in that would that be the prosecutor's office yes okay yes and a news up to speed on what's been going on with this and i don't know how much she is aware but i definitely will make a phone call to her and kind of give her an update and then i need to send her the same packet that you guys have right. because i know you can assist it's just like mowing you can assist her taxes but i think this situation is a little different it's more egregious yes yeah. well, it's there's a safety risk and I, I, to be honest, I would hate for our guys to go in there. And I don't know, I don't know how you would secure the property with the whole front of the interest is going. I don't think we can take on that liability. Yeah, right. So, um, there's no flooring, half the flooring's gone. I mean, and I just pulled this from the, um, the auditor, I don't know, the auditor side or the trust, I forget. Um, that on this property, right now there's $16,583.29 that is back, on tax. back taxes. Yeah. So at that point, what is the, uh, has the land bank, land bank's been involved with yes. the property? Yes. Yes because the $16,000 back tax is a county issue. Mm -hmm. where, where do they stand on this right now? Well, they are still, uh, I know that they were looking and talking to the fire marshal, mm -hmm. um, you know, because we've kind of got the two properties 
going at the same time, right. the Hicks property. Right. And one of the things that they're trying to figure out 100% is if there are gas tanks underneath that ground. So under they- Under this property? No, under, no, the, under the Hicks property, the one on the corner. Right. The day that we met with the land bank, she checked both of these properties out. And it does take some time for her to research to try to find these people right. and everything. Right. You know. And I did get an email from her because we've been pretty well talking just about, you know, every other day or so. Um, they already have their attorneys checking on the, um, to find out who maybe a family member or lien holder or whatever. So their, their attorneys is working on that. What is it? The title search? Isn't that what, the, what it's called? So that's what they're working on. So. I don't know if this is, uh, if we need to go, you know, make a motion that we wait on the land bank or. Well, that's what I was going to say. Yeah. Is that I, at this point, a nuisance abatement is to assess what the township's going to do to right. overcome the nuisance because the owner has not. Mm -hmm. In this case, the township cannot overcome this nuisance. No, right. not on our own. We can claim it. We can say, yay, verily, it is a nuisance. Mm -hmm. Perry Township, sign off on it and move forward and give that to the land bank mm -hmm. or give that to the county yes. and say, we, we are saying this is officially a nuisance. It needs abating, mm -hmm. but it is above the level of uh, responsibility and actionability that Perry Township can take. Right. And I that see. way we make sure we're in lockstep with right. them. They have everything they need from us. If there's anything else that they need, we can revisit this. Mm -hmm. But um, it sounds like the wheels are already slowly turning there from the land bank and the county mm -hmm. perspective. And I think that this is one of the steps that she said that we needed to do was do this. In we have to have, right. Yes, we have I, to. I'm at the point where we know this has been going on for year after year after year. He's gotten letter after letter after letter it's time to move on it mm -hmm. um and the last whatever. time he was here and that was right before they he went to court and had the squatter removed one thing i did tell him is to stay in touch with me right and i after that day i've not heard a word from him and when Karen and I met with the, the building regulations uh, department downtown, when we went down there, they came out and assessed it also. So and they informed him at this time, you know, he needed the, the permits and, you know, inspections and all this. And of course that was. So at this point, should we make a motion stating the property by address and parcel number has been found to be a nuisance by Perry Township and that will coordinate upwards with Montgomery County to follow through on what steps come next. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Would you like to do the honors? Sure. <laughs> I'll make a motion that we declare the property owned by Mr. David Riley at 4633 Sulphur Springs Road, Brookville, Ohio, 45309, parcel number L5516505-0013 to be a nuisance. <laughs> And that's really it. I, mean, okay. we're, we're, we're I will second. Wait. Uh, Mindy went. I second. But yeah. So, oh, so you call, call a roll for that's, vote. Oh, yeah, yes. that's what I'm trying to do. Mindy <laughs> went. Jason. Yes. Arshorn. And yes. Trustee Mears. Yes. I think my official stand, and, and I'm guessing you guys probably feel the same and correct me if I'm wrong, that the sooner we can get this building at least secured, if not removed, is better for all around. Um, I, I worry about the safety of the house next to it if the wall comes down. I worry uh -huh. about the children in the area, like uh -huh. mentioned before. Um, the, and it's, it's a mess. There's a new family that moved in to right next door to the property the the bigger house the white house okay and they have small children mm -hmm. so what i will do tomorrow is i will call our prosecutor and fill them in ask them 
now that this <clears throat> meeting has happened, can we go on the property and at least secure it? And I don't know how we go about doing and, that. And I would call Susie. Yeah, I'll, I'll, Susie. Yes. Yeah, I'll, I'll yes. coordinate with If they do, because, you know, remember, we don't want. Right. Yeah. And get rid of the tires. And then if Mr. Music wants to come pick the tires up, he should be able to do that. That'd be great. The, the other thing is, is that we can then step up the police presence <laughs> and check it regularly throughout the day, the yeah. week, to make sure that there are no additional squatters, there's no illegal activity happening there, mm -hmm. and try to make it as safe and secure as we can for the, the residents in that area. Okay. All right. Sounds like a plan. Good. Any other comments, questions, concerns? You. Well, I make a motion that we adjourn. Trustee Mears? Yes. Trustee Harshorn? Yes. Trustee Wynn? Yes. Thanks, everybody.